When I started doing medical micropigmentation and the permanent cosmetics and things like that, I, uh, I did become very aware that some people have a certain idea of how they expect tattoo studios to be. That's one of the reasons why we, we very slightly changed the front of the shop and just went for a bit of a rebrand because we now have to have a foot in both of those camps. You know, we still stay true to, to everything that we do, but also we have to deal with the reality that there are certain perceptions, but we've always broken down those perceptions as soon as people speak to us, which is quite nice, really. What I tend to do when people get in touch is I'm very upfront about where we are. I don't make any sort of illusions that we're anything that we're not. Um, but what I do do is I say to people, you know, just come in and have a chat with us, you know, because it's the best way to break down barriers is to get people to meet you face to face because then they can see that, yes, although you might be covered in tattoos and you're working in a tattoo studio, actually it's a tattoo studio that, even if I do say so myself, not that bad aesthetically. Um, and as generally as soon as people start to talk to me, they then start to understand that actually I do know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm, I'm not all, well, you know, you either want it done or you don't get in the chair. And I find that's the easiest and best way to put people at their ease, you know, um, especially when you are dealing with medical clients. Medical clients and generally cosmetic clients as well, they tend to be slightly more nervous because you're generally working on their face or you're working on something that is extremely delicate to them. So it's always face to face always. Their first contact might be through email, generally. Um, I tend to find that most people don't call straight away. But yeah, I do get them to come in and, and have a face-to-face -face chat with me.